You know, kids really like this new program. There's a lot of different poems and short stories that all tie to a similar theme. They love that they can download it on their phone and do assignments on an app that they don't even need internet access for. They'll stop me in the hallway with their phone and ask me a question about StudySync. You know, using technology, it's just like our generation. The really cool thing about it is that we have online binders. It keeps all your work. It's not like you can lose it. You get to go back and check your work. So with StudySync, the feedback for a lot of the questions is immediate. It's graded right on the platform. And you put your answers in the computer and you send it in. It'll click back to you saying, this is what's wrong. This is what you need to fix. This curriculum is a lot more rigorous. You know, the, the standards are a lot higher in terms of the assessments and the kinds of writing they're expected to do. The flip side of that is that the support is higher too. I love the writing process with the extended writing that it takes them through every single step of the way and gives them feedback, it gives them peer feedback, it gives us a chance to go in and give them feedback. So I love how StudySync has lessons on grammar and vocabulary that students are able to transfer into their writing. It really has changed the way that we do instruction in our English classes and I, I think for the better. This curriculum is developed where the kids can't just sit and get it. So they have to engage in it. The teacher is not doing the learning for them. So the teachers are not up there modeling as much of how to do each step. The students are interacting with the problems and they're making decisions on how to solve the problems. Using the mathematical language routines helps students own what they're talking about and to be able to really make connections. The curriculum spirals and so it revisits concepts and that gives the opportunity for different types of learners to access the material and become successful. As a special education teacher, I like the way that the curriculum has all of the materials, so then when I'm trying to modify things for my students, um, I'm not starting from scratch. Everything is included, the lessons, teaching strategies. So what planning looks like now is looking at student performance data. Looking at what is actually happening in the classroom, what concepts are maybe needing a little bit more work. So one of my favorite things about Study Sync is that it really does lend to a lot of academic discourse for our students. We share our opinions about the books. I get to talk with my friends while I'm at it. And hearing other people's essays influence you. I think that that helps me understand the book more. My favorite part about math this year is I'm working in a group for like partners when our teacher asks us a question or if we do the work, we'll work together and I get to meet new people. We get to share what's right and what's wrong or how we feel about certain, certain things. And when I go into classrooms, I'm hearing kids talk about what are some good mistakes that we made. Students need to know the why and the purpose for what they're doing and both the illustrative math and study sync lend itself to that.